The Denver Broncos have put in requests to interview two prominent names to fill their void at defensive coordinator. What's up, guys? Welcome to Denver Broncos Syndicate, part of the sports syndicate family of channels where we are dedicated to bringing you content about our favorite sports teams. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Before we jump in, guys, if you could just do me a big favor and smash the like button on this video as well as subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so, I would really appreciate it. Again, those are two free and easy ways that you can help show your support to the channel. They help tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out to fellow members of Broncos country, just like you and me. Just because the Denver Broncos have not officially announced the hiring of Sean Payton does not mean that he and the team have not already begun to fill their voids on the staff. According to Nine News insider Mike Kliss, the Denver Broncos have requested to interview two prominent names for their defensive coordinator position. And those two guys are Brian Flores and Sean Desai. Now Flores, of course, is best known from his stint as the Miami Dolphins head coach from 2019 to 2020. Prior to that, he was a longtime assistant coach for the New England Patriots. Now, what makes the Broncos' request to interview Brian Flores a little bit interesting is that he currently has the Broncos named in his lawsuit against the NFL and multiple NFL teams for racially discriminatory practices in the hiring process. Flores' allegations against the Broncos are that John Elway and Joe Ellis essentially gave him a sham interview during the 2019 head coaching cycle just to follow within the Rooney Rule guidelines. Now, Flores also alleges that Elway and Ellis both showed up late to their interview with him, and they also apparently showed up hungover to the interview, so not a good look at all. And you can definitely see why Flores has some potential reservations about the Denver Broncos. That said, both John Elway and Joe Ellis are no longer directly involved with the team. As of the end of last year, Joe Ellis is no longer part of the team, and John Elway has been relegated to just an outside consultant role. He is no longer involved with the day-to-day -day operations, even as the president of football operations. That's a role he no longer retains. So with Elway and Ellis gone, that definitely may free up some of Brian Flores' residents reservations about going to Denver, so perhaps that would open up the possibility of him coming to the Mile High City. Being that he has that background with the New England Patriots, you can definitely expect him to run a very Bill Belichick style defense, a lot of man coverage, a lot of four-man fronts, a lot of stuff like that. As far as Sean Desai is concerned, he is someone who is from the Vic Fangio tree. Desai served for a number of years as an assistant coach for the Chicago Bears, and he eventually worked his way up to defensive coordinator in 2021 following the retirement of Chuck Pagano. Desai was ultimately let go when the Bears cleaned house of Matt Nagy's staff, and he then caught on last year as a defensive assistant with the Seattle Seahawks. Desai, again, is someone who is very much from the Vic Fangio tree and runs that very similar scheme. A lot of quarters coverage, a lot of quarter, quarter half, a lot of cover three, a lot of four-man fronts, and not a whole lot of exotic looks when it comes to blitzing and that kind of stuff. That's why I feel like Ajiro Evro would be the best candidate for the job. He took that Vic Fangio scheme and was able to add on some blitz packages and some man coverage looks, and he really took took that scheme to the next level last season. The Broncos did interview Evero yesterday about potentially retaining him, but they then made the decision to go out and interview some outside candidates. I don't know if that was always their plan all along, or if Sean Payton potentially has decided that he wants to go in a different direction at defensive coordinator and let Ajiro Evero explore other opportunities. I know the Vikings potentially want to bring him in on their staff, and as much as it pains me to say this, I think that it might be possible Ajiro Evero goes somewhere else this season. Season. But you never know, this could be just the process for the Denver Broncos and they want to interview as many candidates as possible. They could still very well stay in-house and go with Ajiro Evero as defensive coordinator this season. Alright Broncos country, I'm curious, how do you guys feel about the Broncos interviewing Brian Flores and Sean Desai? Drop those comments down below, I would love to hear from you. 
be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for even more Broncos coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.